Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pork Openings, which I haven't done in a while. And today I come with you with two official products, uh, very exclusive official products, as you can tell, from the packaging of that one there. Uh, or rather, from the very lovely PK30, which is written on the back there. And Gligar, who is the mascot of the Guardians Rising uh, expansion. I'm also joined with Tim who is here to also witness this fantastic uh, double pack opening uh, of some possibly counterfeit cards I found on eBay for a ridiculously cheap price. Uh, there are new cards inside. They are have been guaranteed. They new are cards. new cards, which is fantastic. Good news. Uh, I'm also just realising that on the side it just says Sun and Moon. It doesn't say Guardians Rising. Sun and Moon. Um, now also, I was telling Tim a second ago actually that um, my nephew a couple of years ago bought some fake Pokemon cards off eBay and this very front, the Ash and Pikachu and Sharpedo, was on the front of a tin he bought which was, I believe on the back, um, described as Pokemon the Movie 5, which has never been a thing. So they're ripping off a rip-off. Yes. That's uh impressive. And as, I, as I've said here, there is... Um, Gligar, for some reason I don't understand. This one looks a little bit a little bit better. Um, I think Victini is in Guardians Rising. I think he's one of the cards they mention. And um, I know I've pulled a Heliolisk from Guardians Rising. I don't know if he's a very big one. I think he's got a GX card, maybe. That's why. But whatever. So we're going to start with this one. Uh, the box, there's no, there's no cello tape on it. They also came terribly damaged i don't know how easy that is coming out on camera but they just sent it from taiwan in a plastic bag basically it wasn't a box or anything it looks like it's been used for quite a few years yeah so uh the backs look pretty good yeah no honestly looking at the back that is actually pretty good printing uh they're all oh god there's one of them it's turned the around turned the right way. Ooh, oh okay the so so I was also wondering as well before opening these, because there's two types of fake Pokemon cards. There's the scans, which is literally someone who just scanned the card, printed onto some cheap um, cardboard. And then there's the fakes, and the fakes are basically Pokemon cards, but they've got things like thousands of HP, or their name is Charizard instead of Snorlax or something. But these seem to just be scans, so we have a fairy energy. I mean... Yeah, the card's feeling a little bit thin. Also, the border is weird. Yeah, the border's definitely off. It's so thin on some of the sides, but I'm pretty I'm pretty glad I've got these, because I don't think I've ever had modern fake Pokemon cards. We have a match-up from, I don't think that's the Guardians Rising set. Or maybe it is, actually. We have a ba uh, Barboach, I was going to say Basculin, that is not. Gligar, they're also all fighting at the moment. Oh, we got Psychic Energy, that's nice. Uh, oh, also, uh, so fun fact, the... Oh, wait, no, 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 these are the appropriate energies, actually, because um, they stopped giving set numbers at the bottom. Um. Which I thought was clever, because that means if you want to complete the set, you don't have to get one of each energy yeah. for every set. That makes sense. Another fighting uh, Pokemon, oh, Nose Pass. Pokemon. We have Mudbray. Uh, is that from the Sun and Moon base set? I think. I don't think that's from Guardians Rising. Pseudo Wood. Uh, I'm sorry. I Pseudo just... Wood threw you off there. Yeah, uh, it's a scary Pokemon. Pseudo Wood. Okay then. Ah, oh, we have a slow poke. It's not a fighting type. Hang on. I think they may have given me a deck here because there's a psychic energy. There's no fighting energy yet, but there's a shitload of fighting Pokemon. Are you going to get some fairies? That's the question. Ooh, Gotharita. Ooh, Gotharita. Okay. Ah, right, I know that's from Guardians Rising. I've seen that artwork. Oh, got one, right? There you go. Yeah. I think these may actually just be scans of Guardians Rising. We've got a fire energy. Okay, maybe not a deck then. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the trouble from Guardians. Actually, I think the symbol is correct. These may just be actual scans of Guardians Rising, which, if so, I guess props to them. They're like... They've done a good job. They're keeping up to date, which is... <gasps> oh, yay! It's a... Um, I don't actually have that officially. I'm not going to put this with my collection, though. Uh, we have a Jangmo. That's nice. Oh, shit, sir! Ooh. Oh, what a pull, man! Oh, my God. So, 
EXs and GXs, they have yeah. the feeling this... Not only is this not shiny, but it feels like the fucking car. Oh my god. See, I thought they'd have at least made it like shiny or put some plastic over it, but wow. Yeah, because they clearly have for some, because there's one sparkling away in the background that you can probably see. Yeah, so... But not, not good enough for Tapu Koko yet. Yeah, well, whatever. That's nice. Uh, we have a field blower. Uh, that was, it was in the worlds that I was watching, uh, Pokemon World... TCG champion went up on uh, championship that went up on YouTube recently. Max Potion, Energy Recycler, Ooh, Energy Lotto, Rescue Stretcher, I think the sparkly one is coming up. Aqua Patch, also a very useful card. Enhanced Hammer, Ooh. Oh, 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 the suspense is killing me. Oh, oh, oh. hang on, wait. The next one. Oh, I just saw what it is. Get your hopes up. Shit! It's a water energy. Let's take the back one then. Okay, okay. Oh, what is this gonna be? Uh, although you are right, the back of the cards are looking all right. Pretty, pretty damn. Um... Yeah, I think you'd have to like compare it to a real Pokemon card to realise. To real, yeah. Which, uh, we could do. Ooh. Idea. Right. Okay. Jump cut. Uh, right. You can see some different, like the colours definitely. Yeah, so the border is more blue on a real one. You would not be able to tell if there wasn't one next to it, though. Yeah, no, I... Well, really, in comparison, though, I'm looking at your one and being like, why is that border so blue? What the fuck? But yeah, this is... This is a genuine uh, card. Yeah, okay, so, what will it be? <gasps> Ooh, some... Oh, uh, this is not from that... This, this is Flash Fire. Again? Bueco... Oh! Oh shit! I <laughs> don't believe that's what it's called. It este Pokemon Cosa 50 Danos a su mismo. Yeah. Um, so I think, actually, so fun story about this one. Oh, uh, okay, so 13 out of 106. Fun fact I think this is the card I pulled that I have a secret rare from Flashfire of. And the only difference is the lettering there is all yellow instead of red and yellow Ooh. and that is what makes it the, su uh, the secret rare and I was very confused for literally minutes because I had both of them and yeah well again though this doesn't it feels a little w different to this but it doesn't feel like an EX but at least they went to the um to the sort of detail of making it shiny because the GX, the shinier card, I think this is a Flashfire one actually, uh, and the way you can tell this isn't a Sun and Moon card, Sun and Moon have their set things on the left, these ones have them on the right. Well, there we are. Um, I will switch positions now, and Tim, you you are welcome to open the slightly more official looking box. Ooh, you're giving me the good one. We will be right back. Right, uh, right. here is the slightly more official looking one. Shall we see if it has the same kind of gubbins? Yes. Will Will there be a half deck in there or something? <laughs> will it be the other half to that deck? <laughs> oh. Yeesh. Right. It's done the same thing. One of them is turned right way. So we'll go from this way. We're starting off with a fairy energy, exactly the same. I see. Oh. What you, oh. Oh. And then and then a match up. Okay. I, I I'm I'm uh -oh. sensing I'm sensing <laughs> something going on here. Um. Oh, it's a, a bar, 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 oh, dear. It's a bar box. <laughs> oh dear! And then a Glygar, oh. a Psychic Energy, a North Pass, a Mud Bray, Will there be a Slow Pork? There's Got a Slow Pork coming up. Slow Pork. Hey. hey, Fire Energy. Oh Jesus Christ! Trubbish. Oracorio, Dragon Ball, Tapu Koko. Oh, it's a Tapu Koko e GX. Wow. Shit, man. What? 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 That reminds me of the one I just. Oh, what, oh my God! What are the chances? Field level, Max Potion, Energy Recycler, Energy Lotto, no. Rescue Stretcher, Aqua Patch, no. Enhanced Armor. Oh! Oh! It's Ampharos! Oh shit, son! That's not a shot, and it's translated. This has oh. Excav Exavolt. So the. So the the only difference between these two things. Oh, I mean, mm, there well. there we go. There there we there we See, go. See, I wondered why these were so cheap, and I think also they smell. 
I, I know this isn't something that comes they'll, across they'll, on yeah, YouTube, they do, they but do have holy fuck, a, these reek. A bit of a scent going on. Oh, yeah, I just <laughs> put it near my uh, nose and like, hang on. Well. I mean, there also, we are. yeah, there's a bit of an issue with spacing, uh, otherwise there's evolution rule. When one of your Pokemon becomes a mega evolution, <laughs> Pokemon, your turn ends. Yeah. Well, ooh, what's the one on the back? That's probably an energy. Is it going to be a... It's water. Oh, oh, right. Oh, okay. Oh, you flipped first. that round. I well, uh, already assumed. So, overall, what what great pulls we've had. I mean, what are the chances we've of We've had that? a Spanish Mega Charizard X. I think it's Spanish. Um, I would assume so. Uh, yeah. If not, I'll, I'll Google it at home and make sure it does fit up with Spanish. If not, I will add a little caption here. Yeah, well, shit, that was... Honestly, I think the highlights of this have been the boxes, which... Yeah. I, re I really like the boxes because they're so unofficial, they're so weird. Y yeah. But, like, this one is fine, but, like, this one is just... I don't know. I I'm, I'm, I I'm a sucker for really shiny boxes, like, garishly shiny, so... And also, talking about shiny boxes, uh, if you do live in Europe, they have announced that Pokemon Gold and Silver will have official commemorative release boxes. They're pretty cool. I'll probably be buying one of those and maybe reviewing it. It'll probably just look like the regular box. But yeah, that has been... That was fascinating. Well, I mean, we could trade if you want. There's a... <laughs> oh, I don't know, I quite like my Amphros. I mean, uh... I don't know if I want to give it up. Well, I'll 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 trade you this really cool Tapu Coco GX that is official <laughs> for it. But yeah, uh, right. Well, thanks for sitting through that with us. It's a lot shorter than I thought because both boxes are identical. Well, almost well, identical. Al almost identical. Thank there you are very much. twenty-six cards in each pack, uh, and one of them was different. So that that's nice. Uh, right. Well, thanks for watching, and if you do want to subscribe. How you do more Pokemon things. Uh, and that's about it. So I'll see you again. Goodbye. Bye.